Santa Clara County this evening. All county residents 65 and older can now get vaccinated at any county site. That's even if they have private insurance. As KPIX 5's Evan Feely tells us, it's a major policy change to simplify the vaccine rollout. Devin? Yeah, major change. Now, how to distribute the limited supply of the vaccine has become one of the most discussed and contentious issues during this pandemic. How do you do it efficiently? How do you do it fairly? Those two things aren't always the same. And so while a lot of people praise the county's new policy today, others says a lot more has to be done to help some of the hardest hit communities. But trying to get an appointment at Kaiser was very frustrating. Julia Rencher ended up at the county's vaccination site after failing to lock down an appointment with Kaiser. After several attempts holding on for long periods of time and finally saying, I, I just can't do this any longer. Kaiser has been dealing with shortages of the vaccine that have forced them to cancel appointments. When we saw that Kaiser was forced to cancel clinics, we had to ask ourselves, how can we fix that? The county's solution was to open their vaccination sites to everyone age 65 and older, even if they had private insurance. Given that we still have scarcity of this vaccine, we still have limited supply, it's a challenge. Dr. Sarah Cody says that more than 80% of the deaths from COVID-19 in the county are 65 or older, making them a priority. There's still a lot of work to be done. The county estimates 37% of people 75 and older have been vaccinated and only 28% of people 65 and up. We already know who's dying, who's going to catch it. San Jose City Council member Magdalena Carrasco says the state's distribution plan should be overhauled with vaccine surge to the communities where the most people are getting sick and dying. If we're going to make sure that our folks are going to survive the pandemic, then we need to make sure that we first get to them. At the county's burger vaccination site, we found 84-year-old James Oliver, who summed up the hopes and frustrations of what so far has been a rocky rollout. I think everybody's working on trying to resolve all the issues they had in the past. Full speed ahead, get it done. So, Devin, if you can go to the county instead of your private provider, how do you sign up? Is there a website? Is there a phone number you can call? Yeah, so the county has a website where you can make an appointment. Now, previously, if you had private insurance, they would sort of redirect you to your insurance providers. But now, basically, anyone can sign up on that county website, make an appointment, and then go to one of those clinics. Hopefully, that will make it a lot easier for folks. All right, Devin, thanks.